Uh, so Spencer, you just had your enduro cross round, and yeah. talking about it, you said something that was really funny that we never hear from like motocross. Yeah, is you said like I didn't crash in any of the main events this weekend, <laughs> and that was like that's a big deal, dude. That was a so, huge deal. So talk about the difference. That I mean, that's what I want to yeah. hear. Is like like AJ <laughs> like we're gonna roll a clip right now, but you wadded yourself pretty good into a dugout recently. But when was the last time you crashed? It's been it's been a minute. Months. Exactly. So, like, I'm talking like my foot never even touches the ground. Yeah. So just talk about like how different it is that like crashing is just like that's not even just a part of the game. It is the game in enduro, yeah. and like everything else is like do what you can, put yourself in the best position to never crash in motocross and that. Yeah, it's kind of a different thing, honestly. I mean, the two weeks before. I went into the main event and I crashed every single main event at least three times, which is like, that's a, that's a little bit too much, <laughs> but to like go out and not crash at all on a main event the next weekend is like, I don't know. It's kind of weird. Like it's a normal thing. I, I think probably 90% of the pro field had like a tip over or like, at one point was fully off the bike, lifting it off the ground or stuck in the rocks and had to like get off and lift it out or something. Do you, do you guys do like a super pole style for your qualifying? Yeah, we do. It's called a hot lap. So it's just timed one lap. And is that, is that nerve wracking? And because that's a lot of things to, and this is a horrible way to look at it, but that there's a lot of things that not mess up. Yeah. It's kind of, and you only get one shot at it. Yeah. Well, yeah. You get one shot. So you basically get a like, grease every single obstacle as fast as possible to get that good starting position which if you don't get the good starting position it's a two row start so fr uh, faster dudes on the front slower dudes on the back and so 16 starting riders positions in total important. so yeah so you want to be on the front row like wow. starting back on the second row is not ideal <laughs> can you are the guys that are getting podiums can you crash and still get on a podium yeah i think honestly i think johnny walker who won he went three all three mains this weekend uh, I think he crashed in two of the main events. And is that rare? It's I mean it's not rare. It's definitely like it's seen more. Like you can definitely you could have the first place guy crash on the first turn and go to dead last and he could make his way back to first within like a couple laps. It's definitely a Is it hard to pass people? Yeah, because you got to think about it like say you're riding the rocks one line all day you kind of got that like totally. line dialed in and the other lines could be completely different. Like there could be a huge, uh, hole that your front tire could go in or there could be Does like everybody gravitate towards the one main line sometimes. Yeah. So there is normally a preferred or there's no, either one preferred line or two preferred lines and being able to ride every single line is huge because when you're lapping people, they're always going to be in the main line. They're not going to mm. be out of the main line. And so, I don't know, it's kind of weird. What what I would do, like, if I'm lapping somebody, it's almost, like, better to let them have a little bit of room. Yeah. And then, because if you follow somebody in right behind on the rocks and they get hung up, you're going to just drive right into the back of them. So, it's better to, like, leave spacing and get into an obstacle beside them and pass them in the obstacle in, like, a harder line if they're on the fast line. If you guys enjoyed this podcast clip and you want to listen to full episodes, go download them. Spotify. Apple Podcasts, and I think that's it. Go download them there, give them a listen. If you want to watch full episodes, which I tell you what, it's even better to do that, go to club.themotoacademy.com because Moto Academy subscribers inside of the app have exclusive access to watch the entire episodes. And not only that, the subscribers actually can send in their questions to be answered in the podcast as well. club.themotoacademy.com, go subscribe.